Hey guys, it's Linux Benchmarks here, and in today's video, I wanted to teach you guys how to set up the finals on Linux. As I know, there's been uh, a lot of discussion in the Proton GitHub uh, issue page for the finals with like a bunch of issues and stuff, and it might be a bit confusing for new players that actually want to you know switch to Linux and then they find out that the finals like crashes or doesn't even launch for some people because of like a certain CPU they're using and such. So I just wanted to teach you guys uh, how to set it up, but do you know what else is easy to set up? Today's sponsor. Today's sponsor is Proton VPN, one of the most secure and private VPNs in the world with over 3K servers in 71 countries. Try it out for free to see if you like it with Proton VPN supporting Android, Windows, Mac OS, even Linux, the operating system that I use. Pay 10 bucks a month with 30 day back guaranteed if you don't like it. Also, Proton VPN offers Proton Mail, one of my favorite mailing applications that protects your emails with end to end encryption so no one can read them at all no matter how hard they try if you really want to try what proton vpn has to offer go to the link in the description and sign up today now uh when you do you know install your favorite linux distro whatever distro that may be uh you know you want to of course like install steam uh make sure that you've got your nvidia drivers uh installed and if you're on amd then you don't have to worry as the majority of linux distros have a um, amd gpu driver already included plus the mesa user space uh, graphics drivers are included already so when it comes to playing games on amd hardware you should be ready to go uh, just make sure that you're running a newest version of like the Mesa point release. So right now it's Mesa 23.3.5 um, or it might be 24 by the time this video comes up. Uh, you know, Mesa 24 might come out uh, to like Arch maybe tomorrow sometime, but uh, just make sure that you have like the latest drivers installed at, uh, and on AMD. And then also like if you're running Intel Arch, just make sure that you've got the latest drivers. And then, you know, you just want to um, download the game, which is uh, pretty easy to do. Now, of course, uh, when you do install Steam, uh, you want to make sure that your shader cache is disabled as we have the graphics pipeline which is already enabled on multiple different types of gpus uh, it's enabled on intel arc it's enabled on nvidia it's enabled on amd cards so what you want to do is go to your settings go to your downloads go to shader pre-caching and then disable shader pre-caching as you don't need it. Now the next thing is uh, the Proton version that you want to use. Now for me, I use Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge. Other people uh, use Proton, just regular Proton Experimental. I like to have the latest uh, experimental features for some games like the Files, for example, because I want things like you know, in the example, like right now, the frame timing in the finals is a bit jittery. And I think that just might be because of how the game works with the server side stuff. So it's a bit like when there's like tons of destruction going on, there might be some little jitters and some um, little frame spikes. So running Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge has improved the frame timing like a bunch over the past like uh, two weeks that it's been like supported so if you want proton experimental bleeding edge uh, you just want to go to your steam library you just want to search proton and then find the experimental one here you want to go to your properties and then you want to go to betas and you want to select bleeding edge the latest and untested dsvk vkd 3d proton and wine changes back up your prefixes before using so it's very much of like an experimental version of experimental it's a bit odd uh, that they have a proton experimental and then they also have a proton experimental bleeding edge but like i said for me Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge is, I would say, uh, way better than Experimental as it just includes the latest development builds from the developers working on Proton, um, which it also means that you'll get updates like three times a day, roughly, or like two times. Sometimes you won't get an update, but like it, there is a lot of updates uh, for Proton Experimental Bleeding Edge. Uh, if you're just on Experimental, you'll get an update maybe every week or two. Um, or maybe every couple of days, but for Bleeding Edge, you get like updates like basically three times a day, I would say. So one of the main problems with the finals on Linux is if you have a specific CPU, and this actually doesn't just um, happen to the finals, it happens to multiple games that uh, use a thing called AVX 512. It's enabled on some uh, CPUs, like supported. And so this actually has some issues when you try to play some games uh, like the finals where I don't think the game even launches uh, without it being, uh, I think, enabled properly. So to enable it, you're going to have to edit your Grub. Um, if you don't have Grub and use System D, there is a way of doing it on System D, but I don't know how to do it. I know how to do it on Grub, but not on System D. So if anyone knows 
how to edit a, um, a config file for Grub, but instead for system D, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but for Grub, you just want to sudo nano into the config file for Grub. So you would do sudo nano, um, go into your Grub. I don't have Grub installed, I'm using systemd, but there should be like a bunch of different lines of um, text for different things. Uh, and one of them will be a Grub underscore CMD line underscore Linux. And you want to add the clear CPU PID um, next to it. So you will just do um, this one here. I'll leave this in the comments uh, for you guys to copy and then to paste it on the end of where Grub underscore CMD line underscore Linux is. And then you just want to do control X and then Y to save it. And then you'll need to update your bootloader or slash grub. Um, so you just want to use the sudo grub uh, mk config. Uh, this is the grub2 EFI one. If you search up on your distro or just like if you go to, I know there's one on Fedora for updating the grub and there's different types of commands depending on how your BIOS is set up for like um, secure boot. So if you have secure boot disabled, I think you would do this one. Then there's a couple other ones if you do have secure boot enabled. And you just want to click enter and that will update the grub and that will add that line that we added for the AVX 512 support. And now the next problem that we're having here is the VM uh, max map count. Uh, and now this isn't uh, happening on every distro because some distros already have it high enough when it comes to VM uh, max map count. So like, for example, on Steam Deck, this doesn't happen because they've set it to like basically a really high number. Um, and from my like speculation, this is just like how many like processes can run in a game or like in a process. So for example, on Arch systems by default or just for Linux in general, um, it's set to a really low number and some games like to go above that number. So that's when uh, games will freeze and crash. So you have to edit uh, the VM max map count. So you're gonna have to go to the description below and you're gonna have to sudo nano um, into um, this directory and you want to add the VM max map count equals. And then this is what Steam Deck uses, which is a really high number. Uh, for by default, I think it's like 6,800, if I remember correctly. Um, so a distro like Fedora, uh, that will have it set really high. So that's fine for you. Uh, same with Pop OS, they have it set up really high. But for example, on Arch systems or just Endeavor OS, a, that's what I'm using. Um, I did have to raise it uh, so that my game wouldn't crash after like around two hours of playing, it would, it would just crash. So adding this does fix that crashing problem as well. And after that's done, um, Basically, you can play the game without any crashes. Uh, we can add a, uh, I use a Mango HUD um, launch option. So then I can have a FPS overlay to see the FPS and the frame time and the GPU and CPU usage. Um, if you want to install Mango HUD, you just want to go to your store or go through the terminal. So for me, it's just on Discover and you just want to search for Mango HUD. I don't know if this will show up. It doesn't because I'm running Endeavor OS. So I would actually open up the Parmex store for me. And then I would search go overlay. And then this will install Manga HUD for us. This is just a GUI manager. So if we launch this, it lets us configure Manga HUD pretty easily uh, without having to go into an actual config file to change things. And then after that's done, you just want to do uh, all lowercase Manga HUD uh, percent command percent. And then we can basically just launch the game. Now, one of the issues that um, hasn't been fixed yet, and I think the finals or Ember, they would have to fix this manually in a, in a separate uh, update where the easy entry cheat likes to run the setup.exe every time you launch the game. Now, this isn't a problem, um, but it is a, uh, you do have to wait maybe a little bit longer uh, versus if you're running the game on Windows. Uh, but I don't really care that much because the game does launch quick enough. Like there it is launching just fine. Uh, but it, that is one issue. So if Embark, if you are watching this, um, please fix your easy entry cheat uh, .exe setup to detect that it's already installed and you don't have to keep rerunning it. Um, I remember uh, another game that came out that bring Linux support had this problem also because they were using the EOS version. And then they had to update um, theirs to actually fix that problem. But as we can see here, it is uh, running. We are using 7% CPU usage on OBS at the moment. So that's why the FPS is really low. Uh, but we can go into the practice range. And now as you can see here, the game is working just fine. 
I've been playing it a bunch, like a ton, um, and uh, it's been working uh, fine. Of course, the game is a bit CPU dependent, so if you don't have a strong enough CPU, uh, the F your GPU won't be able to keep up, and so the FPS stays a bit low. Uh, for me personally, because I have a 3700X, and for some reason, um, it just can't keep up with the GPU, um, so my FPS is rather low. Alright, well, uh, it seems like I can't show uh, the finals footage at the moment because uh, the servers are having issues currently. So I'm just going to check out footage of me playing. Uh, I think I recorded some, some footage of me playing a couple days ago. Um, you guys can look at that gameplay just to show proof that it is uh, indeed uh, working. So if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely give it a like and subscribe to the channel. We are really close to 3k subscribers, which is just truly insane to me. I want to thank you all. I'm pretty sure we're at like 2.8k at the moment, so I want to thank you for that also. And I'll put up on the screen of my supporters. I want to thank them also because, you know, they support the channel. If you want to support the channel as well, you definitely can. And of course, like the sponsor, like Proton VPN, uh, they're they're lads honestly so thank them also uh and i'll see you guys in the next video peace for once our arena hasn't been shaken or stirred but it's a straight up playing field for this round eyes are on the vogue's last contestant this could be a chance for them to get